Hi everyone, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing a new makeup releases will I buy it video for the first time since what feels like forever. I used to do these videos every week and now I haven't done them in a week or so even months and I really miss doing them. So today I was like, let's film a good old new makeup releases will I buy it video again, which is basically the series inspired by Samantha Bars where I go over some of the new makeup releases, tell you my thoughts, tell you whether I'm planning on picking these up. I love doing these videos because I love sharing my thoughts on the new releases with you guys and I love knowing your thoughts on them as well. So today we're doing one of these videos. But if you're new here, then hi, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you found it. I upload beauty videos every single week and I would love it if you subscribe. But for now, if you wanna see this week's new makeup releases while I buy video, then please keep watching. So I have screenshotted all the releases I wanted to go over today and we have quite a few. Most of these are holiday releases, so I'm very excited to show them to you guys. First, I wanna start with a release from Kylie Cosmetics cosmetics and basically they have released two mini palettes and a trio set so the first two palettes they have released are basically minis of their existing palettes so we have the mini mauve eyeshadow palette and it says a mix of rosy neutrals in six shades with matte and metallic finishes this one is going to retail for $19 and then there's also the mini bronze eyeshadow palette which is also $19 and this is a mix of light and dark neutral shades with matte and metallic finishes now when I look at these I think they look absolutely adorable and I remember swatching like the bigger moth palette in store and it looks really pretty like I do think these bigger Kylie Cosmetic palettes look really nice and now they have released minis of them which makes it more tempting because I rarely use all the shades in one palette and I feel like these are nice and curated where you're able to create like the look they intended the palette for but you don't have to buy every single shade if that makes sense so I'm mostly drawn to the moth palettes because I feel like even though it looks mauve it still looks looks like neutral enough to wear it every single day like has beautiful undertones and then the bronze palette looks absolutely stunning as well it kind of reminds me of the Vive palette that I have so I feel like I don't need this one right now so I don't think I'll be buying any of these but I feel like they are really nice releases and I feel like they would also make really cute gifts for the holidays so I feel like these are going to be popular and then they have released a trio of their high glosses and this I'm very tempted by I feel like this looks really really pretty they have three shades in here they have Gina, Kenny K, and then Posey K. I feel like this set is a really nice curation. You have a like beautiful warm nude type shade. You have a beautiful like raspberry shade and then there is this like really beautiful like nude pink with glitter in there and I feel like this looks really nice. I do have one of these Kylie Cosmetics glosses in the shade Coco K and I feel like it is a nice formula. I enjoy wearing it. It is a bit more on the thick side but I feel like I don't really mind it. It looks really nice on the lips so I'm definitely tempted by this trio but maybe I need to remind myself that I just did a lip declutter and I had plenty of lip products. I have way too many products so I should not add three more to my collection but it is a cute set and let's see how much this is this is $30 for three lip glosses that is a really nice deal okay you guys see I'm tempted by this we then have a new collection from Colourpop and I always joke about this in my will I buy it videos because what is a new makeup release will I buy it video without a Colourpop release they are literally here every single week like they just keep releasing and this time we have no exception but this is quite cute this is the holiday 2022 collection from Colourpop and it is the Colourpop X The Muppets. This is cute. So basically this one has a 16 pen palette called the Muppets Holidays 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 Pressed Powder Palette. So I'm assuming there's going to be pressed pigments in there. This is going to result for $26. I really like the design of this. I think it's really cute. There's also the Muppets Glowing Lip Products. These are $9 each in four shades. Then there's going to be a super sharp shadow for $9 each and they come in four different shades a glittery obsessed glitter gel for ten dollars which i'm not interested in at all and then there is a full holiday collection for 104 dollars now i feel like this is really cute i'm not necessarily like a fan of the muppets but when you see this like the muppets with the christmas theme i just think it looks absolutely adorable and i just know i probably won't pick up something from this because for some reason whenever i buy something from Colourpop, i'm like over it really fast like i'm kind of bored by it quite fast so I sort of stopped buying from Colourpop. I feel like it's just because they are releasing so much. It's like no longer new by the time it gets here and it just kind of sucks. But when I see this palette, I think it looks absolutely adorable. They're not necessarily shades I would wear a lot and I see some pressed glitters, I think, which I wouldn't wear either. 
so I like the packaging but I don't need the actual eyeshadow so I probably should not buy this but it is a cute collection if you like the Muppets. Then there is actually more from Colourpop because not only did they release the Muppets collection they also released some vaults for the holidays and basically there is a big Super Shock Shadow vault for $79 and this includes 25 colors. It has new shades and fan favorites. So basically every single year Colourpop does this like Super Shock Shadow vault where you're basically able to buy a lot of Super Shock shadows at one time and have them come in like this cute little packaging. I like the idea but I once bought one of those vaults with nine colors in there and I find it very inconvenient to have nine of these open at the same time. Like of course you don't need to open them at the same time but, but I mean when I receive something like this I want to open it. I want to try it, swatch it and see what it looks like and these Super Shock shadows expire quite fast because they're cream to powders. They just don't last as long as like powder products so I feel like that is kind of sad with these products. Like you're getting so many at once and I feel like every single person would be overwhelmed with the variety of shades in here and not know which one to use. That being said it does make a cute gift if someone really likes these Super Shock shadows. I just feel like for $79 you could probably buy someone a more convenient gift that they would actually use a lot more. I just don't see someone having 25 Super Shock shadows open in their collection at the same time but that is just my opinion. And then they also released the Pressed Powder Palette Vault for $54. So these are six holiday nine pen palettes and I believe these are all new. Now they sort of remind me of the existing palettes that they used to have for like a long time. The nine pen palettes they got super famous. However, they now have this clear cap. I feel like they look a lot cheaper than they did with the opaque cap and I feel like it's kind of sad because now they just look quite cheap. However, $54 for six palettes is a great deal. It's not bad at all. I just feel like by how they look, they won't be really nice quality and just looks a little bit cheap. I definitely won't be picking this up, but I can still see some people actually buying this. We then have a new collection from Essence Cosmetics and Essence is releasing their holiday 2022 Cookies for Santa collection. This looks adorable, you guys. First, there is the Gingerbread Lip Balm for $4.99 and this is a lip balm with cookie scent. Then there is a Glitter Lip Beautifier, which I don't know what that means. There is a lip scrub, a baked highlighter, a gingerbread bracelet, an ear stud kit. Then there are makeup remover pads, nail stickers, cozy socks, and brush sets. So now that I'm reading this out loud, I feel like it is a bit childish. The makeup remover pads, they look like little cookies. I feel like those are adorable. They don't say the price, so I don't know how much these will be, but they sort of look like the face halos. And I feel like it's just adorable that they look like little cookies. The highlighter and the brushes look nice as well. But I feel like the idea of this collection is cute. I just feel like the way it turned out isn't necessarily something that I would buy. Then there is a new foundation brush from It Cosmetics and this is the Heavenly Luxe Flower Power Foundation Brush. It says a 70s inspired limited edition heart shaped brush head and groovy looking flower print handle. Works effortlessly to apply your favorite liquid cream and powder foundation for flawless looking average results. And this is retailing for $30. Now this is the Love is the Foundation Brush and I know they release these every single year. I really like this one actually. When I saw this I was like I need to have that brush. It's so cute. I have the one from a few years ago which is just pink with like the see-through heart shapes and I really like it. I still use it like I have different foundation brushes but I always enjoy using that one so this is something I'm actually interested in picking this up. I do like to have a good foundation brush so I feel like this one would be a nice one just to have like a new fresh one and I also feel like $30 for a brush like this isn't too bad either but maybe it will get like on sale for Black Friday who knows. Then we have a holiday collection from Lisa Aldridge and I'm sure you guys have seen this already but I just wanted to share my thoughts on this yet. So basically she released five eyeshadow palettes and then also five lipsticks and lip liners and then there's also eye brushes. Now I feel like when I saw this collection I was very excited for it but then I saw the actual palettes and I was like do I really need any of these? I found most of the color stories to look very pretty but most of the ones that I'm interested in were shades that I already have in my collection. Now I will say the one that I'm most drawn to is the cool tone one so with the blue 
cool gray shade and the taupe shade and the black shade. I feel like that is something that I would wear a lot. I also like the warm brown, but I just feel like it looks like every warm brown palette I already have in my collection. But these are $68 each and I actually saw quite a few people pick these up. So I'm very curious to see everyone's thoughts on these products. And then the lip products looked really nice as well, but I found that on the video where Lisa was applying them, they looked different than online. I feel like online it looks a lot bolder. So I really wasn't sure like which one I would like in the first place. So I just didn't buy anything from this collection, but I feel like it is a nice collection. I don't know if it's still available, but I'll try to link it down below if it still is. We then have two new perfumes from Ariana Grande. One is called Mod Blush and then the other one is called Mod Vanilla. They do look interesting. However, they don't have any scent description on here, so I have no idea like what they will smell like. I'm assuming the vanilla one will smell of course like vanilla and then the blush one will probably be like a bit more floral or powdery I'm guessing but I'm really not sure but I really like my Ariana Grande perfumes and then she's also releasing the vault collection and this is retailing for $150 it includes past limited editions and an exclusive advanced preview of Ari's new Geo collection so the two new ones will have previews in here so this set comes with 12 perfumes and all of these are 0.25 ounces according to this treatment pose I feel like it looks cute and I'm kind of interested in picking this up but again for $150 like I feel like it's just a lot of money to spend on perfume especially a really like Grande perfume like I do love them but I love them because they're so affordable and when I'm spending $150 like I will have a variety of different scents but at the same time it will just like be a lot of money for a really Grande perfume so I'm just not sure but it does look cute and if anyone's interested this is like a really cute gift as well. Okay everyone and this was it for today's new makeup releases while I buy the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I wasn't too interested in any of the products however I do think a lot of them look looks cute, just not something that I would need, but I would love to know your thoughts as well. And if you did enjoy this video, then I would absolutely love it if you gave it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you don't miss any of my videos. All of these things would help me so much with my channel and I'd really appreciate it. But with that said, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. I really hope you have an amazing day and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye!